need some rain. We really do need the rain indeed, Casey, and we will have another updated drought monitor as we go into Thursday. Yeah. Unfortunately, not going to look good. Yeah, it's going to be more negative than positive, mm -hmm. I believe. But yeah. again, there will be chances of rain in the future. It's just <laughs> not really happening over the next seven days. Eventually it will uh, rain again. Uh, oh yeah, I mean, eventually, eventually it will rain <laughs> yeah. at some point. It has to, right? But here are our high temperatures today. I mean, we were talking about temps in the upper 70s, low Lower 80s for deep east Texas. So generally pretty nice conditions setting up across the area. This is about where we should be at this time of year, but it's east Texas, right? Our weather's all over the place in the fall and the spring anyway. So normal, what's not normal is normal to us here in east Texas. Temperatures in the 70s right now. A few of these higher clouds, that's that bright white you see on the screen between Anderson and Houston County right there. Temperatures, by the way, across the Trinity River Valley region are in the low or middle to upper 70s. Cold front in the panhandle right now. It's really not going to be a cold front for us, but southwest and northeasterly flow has more clouds moving into the area after midnight. Wouldn't cancel those plans tomorrow morning because we're just not going to see any rain from those clouds. Very interesting about the cold front, though. You can see the fronts off to the northwest. Four o'clock tomorrow afternoon, we're still seeing the passing clouds, and as a result of that front, it's going to start to get humid again. Maybe a light chance of a shower out to our northwest by Thursday, and then as we head into Friday, the front's going to slip a little further off to the southeast. As a result, that will increase our rain chances a little bit along Interstate 20. But again, that's just not looking like a great chance of rain right now. And then Friday rolls in five o'clock Friday evening. No concerns for Friday football as of right now, as we're just seeing a few passing clouds here and there. And this weekend looks nice as well with just a few clouds for Saturday into Sunday. So in summary of that tonight, we're down to 60 degrees. A few you passing clouds after midnight, but don't be concerned if it does look overcast tomorrow morning. I just don't expect the rain right now, but I do expect warmer temperatures and we will see more humidity as well with some sunshine through about three o'clock. We hit a high temperature of about 84 degrees and La Nina. It's back about an 87%. It persists through winter, which is December to February, and we don't have an official NOAA winter forecast yet, but we will have one for you, and I'll have the latest on Thursday once they issue it. But here's what that means. Ocean temperatures are about a half a degree Celsius below normal here in the equator region of the Pacific Ocean, which is very good for fishermen right off the uh, Peruvian coast there because of something that's called upwelling with those cooler waters. But what happens here for us is we've got a blocking area of high pressure. The jet stream swings off to the south and to the east here, and as a result, we do see warmer and drier conditions setting up across the southwest and across the state of Texas. So what that means is it's likely to be a forecast that's warmer and drier for this winter, but nothing is set in stone yet. Stay tuned for more on that. 80s across the board, an isolated shower or two Thursday into Friday. We really heat things up this weekend. 87 Saturday, 86 on Sunday. Deep East Texas, similar trend. We're in the middle 80s, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Rain chances possible for Sunday. Casey? All right, Carson, thank you. Coming up in sports, Tyler Junior College has won.